Hello and welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you receive the notifications of when I'm reading live. Welcome to Bedtime Story with Miss Anna. Are you ready to go to sleep? Kiss your mommy, kiss your daddy. It's time for story time. Tonight we have some amazing books by Juji Morales and Tony Johnson. The first book we're reading is called... Nino wrestled the wall. Maromas, voladoras, máscara versus calavela. Técnicos versus rudos, luchadores. Nino wrestled the wall by Yuji Morales. Nino. Nino, niño, niño, niño. Señoras y señores. Put your hands together for the fantastic, spectacular, one of a kind. Niño. So super are his talents that out of this world contenders line up to challenge him. Here comes the first one. Arr. It is the Guanajuato mommy. Niño versus la momia de Guanajuato. War, war, war. Oh no. What a niño to do? Six sack spatch spachata ra ra ha ha. Niño defeats the Guanajuato mommy with the tickle tackle. Oh uh oh, old Mac hair awaits his chance to bomb skulls with niño. Niño versus cabeza old Mecca. What will niño do now? Boom, blah, wrong. I miss hijos. Nino makes his puzzle muscle move and all my head's mind is blown. It's a real skull crack. Crunch. Miss hijos, my children. Ta da. Nino versus La Llorona. Nino's doll decoy stunned the weeping woman into submission. Nino versus El Extraterrestre. Marble Mash, Nino wins again. There is no doubt, no opponent is Spank. Too terrifying for him, Nino versus El Chamuco. Nino does it once more. Look at the Paxical Slick Swap. Ay, 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 ahua, no señor. Tick-tack, 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 but then the dreadful hours arrive. Oh, no, recorcholis. His sister nap is over. Time for Nino to tango with las hermanitas. Nino versus las hermanitas. Las hermanitas are rudas. Way to hold. What a move. Wah, cuchichug. Ah, will they stop at nothing? How is Nino going to win this time? Nino's best move ever. Taka. If you can defeat them, join them. Los tres hermanos now accepting all comers. Vivan las luchas. The end. I have another great book. And this book is called My Abuelita. This is also by Yuji Morales and Tony Johnson. My Abuelita. I live with my grandma and she lives with me. I call her Abuelita. She's an old as old as the hill, she says, maybe older. Her hair is the color of salt. Her face is a crinkle as a dry chile. But that doesn't matter, she's my abuelita. I love her and she loves me. My abuelita also loves her work. Each day she wakes up with the sun. She stretched this way and that with her cat named Frida Kahlo and with me limbering up for work. She does knee bends and breathe deep, oh deep, like a big salty whale out, out of sea. I do the same. Frida Kahlo is already limber, so she tilts her head this way and that, watching Abuelita and me. My Abuelita is round, robust, she says, like a calabaza. 
a bunkin. She doesn't mind. She likes bunkins. Being round gives me a good round voice. She tells me just the voice for my work. After she stretch, my abuelita takes a shower. While the water splash, she sinks way down in her trough. Dig, buggy, floggy, knocks that stretch her voice for work. Ay, isn't it thrilling to sink like a frog? She asks me. I sing deep and buggy, froggy notes. Clop, clop, clop. It is very thrilling. I agree. Then my abuelita wraps herself in a towel, stripped with black and yellow. She looks like a gray big bee. While she tries, she hums like a gray big bee, getting ready for work. I hum too, for fun. Abuelita puts on her fuzzy roll and prepares breakfast, fresh orange juice, queso, cheese, Warm tortillas she has made by hand and huevos estrellados, dairy eggs. That is fried. While the, she cooks the yolks about bedroom sleepers. Pantuflas, pantuflas, pantuflas. Jocelyn loosens my voice. She's playing for work. I know that already. My abuelita says this every day, but I like to hear it anyway. Frida Kahlo likes the pantuflas song. So she sings too. She sings so nicely. Abuelita gives her a taste of stary eggs. Then I jottle. Pantuflas, pantuflas, pantuflas. I jottle so nicely. My abuelita gives me eggs. I give some to Frida Kahlo. With jaldo and jaldo, oodles or jaldos, Frida gets ule or staring eggs. Abuelita is almost ready for work. Just one last thing, she tells me. What? I ask. Even though I already know, now she whispered, comes my booming. I plug my ears just in time. Then my abuelita booms out words loud and clear. She always says the words should be as round as dime and as wild as blossoms blooming. Soon she stops. Ay, I feel like a white blossom blooming, my abuelita says. I must be ready for work. You are not ready, I say. What's missing, she asks, looking at herself carefully. Full taps, full taps. Your clothes, I lie. She's still in her fussy row. Ay, ay, ay. I almost forgot my abuelita always says that. She puts on a flowery gown and bright red shoes and scarf. Like a cloud that flows down to the ground. Am I ready? You are not ready. What is missing? My abuelita asks Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo meows because she doesn't know. She just knows that she likes eggs that look like stars. You things. I say, abuelita, hands fly to her face. Ay, what would I do without you? She always say that too. We stuff her carcassia, her jalopy, with all the things she needs for work. A temple with many skinny stair, rustling stalk of maize, a magnificent plum snake, a king and queen as brown as beans, a kalaka skeleton, one sun, one moon, one feather crown. Am I ready now? See, sí. then vámonos, let's go, besitos. My abuelita blow kisses to Frida Kahlo, so do I. While she curls up in the sun, we drive to work as we roll along Abuelita's cloud scarf below behind. Bienvenidos, welcome, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, one, two, three, four, five. Alas, we arrive at a big brick building. My abuelita soups in, so do I. We love to soup. Abuelita arrange her things. I help. She arrange herself. I help. Last of all, I crown her with a sweep of stars. Am I ready? My abuelita asked me. You are ready. An audience crowds close. Like many worms, it squirms around because it is an audience of girls and boys. My abuelita raised a hand and everyone sort of settles down. Then, with words as wild as blossoms, blooming around as dying, she begins. Once upon a time, 
when I am old and punk in shape and my hair is the color of salt and my face is crinkled like a drift child, like a drift chile, I'm sorry, I know that it is what I want to be. A storyteller like my abuelita, the end. Oh, such a beautiful story, right guys? I have some book recommendations for you. The first book is called Grandulas by Paul McCartney. This is a companion to the New York Times bestseller, Hey Grandu. So you have to read both of the books, okay? Hey Grandu and Grandulas. It's a really, really nice story that you will enjoy this summer. Our next book recommendation is How to Be on the Moon by Vivian Schwartz. Have you ever thought about going into the moon? I know that a lot of people now are able to go, right? Well, if you have enough money, but yes, they still can go. So if you dream of going into the moon one day, maybe you should read this book, How to Be on the Moon. And the last book recommendation is this great book. The Secret Code Inside You, All About Your DNA by Rajani LaRocca. Do you want to know your DNA? Do you know what is DNA anyway? That's what makes you you, what makes you special. This book will teach you step by step about body parts, about family, about your DNA. Why and you why you look like that why your skin color is your skin color and your family members and different things so i hope that you can enjoy reading these amazing books during the summertime and please if you are looking at my videos for the first time in your life don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i see you bye